Well, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. First ocean trip of the year. Excited to get out. Today we're on Kevin's boat. Good morning. And we also got Taku, Outdoor Chef Life with hey. us. So today we're trying to get some squid to start our morning off. So that's first order of operations here. We're gonna try and locate them. And that's gonna be our bait for today. And after that, we're gonna try and get some lingcod and some rockfish and maybe even some halibut. So it should be a fun day of fish out here in the ocean. Brought the underwater cameras with me. So we'll see if we can get some footage of uh, the fish and the squid down in the water down there. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try and find the squid and then we'll get to the rockfish. So to catch these squid, we're using these from the Ahi Promar guys. Uh, squid catcher works really well. And I have a discount code that I'll put in the description right up here for you guys. If you wanna go on their website, works uh, site wide. So go ahead and take advantage of that and save some money on some cool gear. All right, well, I just had Kevin turn the lights on. So the idea is these are little glow beads on the prongs right there. And so if we get them glowing good, since it's still early morning, it's pretty dark out. Um, and yeah, getting these glowing better should uh, help get the squid attracted to them. It's my birthday too. Is it your birthday? Is it your birthday today? Oh man, happy birthday. Yeah, all right. Uh, 60, 40 to 60 feet looks like something. You would think that that would be squid. Yeah, it looks kind of squiddy though, how it's not super tight together. Yeah. Like bait. Yeah. All right, I got one. All right, it's feeling a little heavier. I could be wrong though, because it's six <laughs> ounce weight. But we'll see. No, oh, here we go. No, no, they're squirting. Is that him, Kev? No, he's right here. I think like the middle there. But see, now we left them. Those were definitely the squid. Yeah. Wow. Right on the surface. Oh, they're on the surface? Yeah. Like, just like five feet. Oh, no. <laughs> I would be oh, so jeez. Oh, oh god. <laughs> got a spinner. Oh man. Uh try underwater camera. I like that it has that green light right there. Maybe it attracts them and shines down on our, our baits right there. So it's always a trip to me dropping these cameras down in the ocean. It allows us to explore what seems like a different world. It's an overcast day, so not much light is making its way down to 100 feet, but that won't stop us from being able to see some squid. As we enter the zone, you can start to see some. Remember, I have no idea if we're even around the squid. This isn't a live feed. It's also very hard to feel the squid on the line with the camera attached if they do happen to strike like that one just did. It certainly feels from watching this the squid aren't too active or excited about our rig at the moment. We can still learn how to better catch the squid from watching this. I think it's important to not move your line too much up and down. Get it in the zone for two or three seconds, then lift to see if you feel any weight. If you do, quickly reel. If nothing, hold it pretty still for a couple more seconds and keep trying until you feel the weight of the squid on your line. No squid swimming around in this shot, but I still found it interesting. See the white area on the ground floor? Those are squid eggs. As I understand it, the squid come to shallower water to spawn, and that's why we're able to catch them less than a mile from land. It was a slower start for us today. Not sure if it just took us longer to get in the zone or if they became more active, but now we started getting them often. Oh yeah, there we go. This is a good one too. Oh, 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 nice. Nice, dude. Oh, that's great. Thanks, your boat. Yeah. 
We're getting them now, aren't we? Yeah. Ooh, hey, some of them are darker than others. Yeah, they get red when they're like... Oh, yeah, now they're getting darker. And they're angry. Combined, we're as good as Adam. <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Ah. All together. Yeah. Well, I got the uh, yeah, exactly. best fish finder on there. You know? <laughs> yeah. He's upgrade on that. I just, I'm not going to do a lot of work on this one because I'm not going to keep too too much longer. Yeah. Oh, we got baby. That's baby. Yeah. Nice snack size. Get those in. Get those in. So nice when it's more than one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we're done squidding. Took a little longer, uh, about an hour, two hours to finally get on them. And then once we did, it was good squidding. I would say we have, let's get the net. Got to be at least 60, 70 in there. Oh, yeah, look at all those. So now we're going to uh, go get some hooks on those squid and drop them down the rocks and see what kind of link or rockfish we can get. We'll uh, see you guys at the next spot. We're arriving to the rockfish grounds right now, getting set up. Taku's already on. Already on. <laughs> it's a good fish too. Feels good. Feels We've always done really well here. Oh yeah, nice one. It looks like, here, here's the gas. Pull the peel off too. Oh yeah. Oh, nice and blue. Oh, yeah. Well, that yeah. didn't take long. <laughs> there you go. This didn't take long at all, did it? No. All right, so remember, new rockfish regulations for this year. We're in 100 feet of water right now. Gotta be at 120 feet or less. Got to have a descending device on board. Kevin's got one. When he gets situated, I'll have him take it out so we can show you guys what that looks like. We're gonna do underwater camera. We got 20 pound test. That's our, I don't know what I want to call it, our brake line or whatever. You know, if, if we get snagged, hopefully that 20 pound test is what breaks. And we're going down to one of these uh, Promar squid skirts. I cut the other one off and added a treble hook because you can only use two hooks rock fishing. And then we'll have the weight at the bottom. And we're gonna add a squid to the, on top of that squid. 24 and a half. Awesome. Right now we're almost off rocks. Oh, uh, do you have a bucket to bleed them? Uh, yeah. We're almost off rocks right now. Should we go ahead and move? Yeah, reset. Now that you know which way we drift. That was instant, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look at my rig. <laughs> <laughs> you got a squid on a squid. Uh. Is that a snag or fish? Nice. Yeah, you gotta set him. Oh yeah, Kev's on a ling. <laughs> Get him up off the bottom. He's not feeling huge. Just took some line initially, you know, early, but that's it. There it is. Oh yeah, that's a ling cod. Big enough. A little short. It's probably nice. short. I mean, you can measure him, but he's probably just short, right? 
You're like, I don't want that one. <laughs> he vomited all over your boat, though. Oh yeah, I do, but it's a rockfish. Oh, got off. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just start pulling. Like this one. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh no. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Kind of little. I think if it's 22, just keep it. I mean, I'd, I would take it if you got bigger. He's 22. Yeah, probably 21. Yeah. Just barely. the edge. I think there's still a little bit of sand. What's that? I think it's still a little bit of sand. Oh, okay. But we were just, we're right. right. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just hitting the rocks now. Just now, though. Here we go. Come on. I don't think they like my rockfish. Rock fish. Anybody want a rockfish? I don't need it. Was that a brown? Brown's a fatty, isn't he? Yeah, it's good size. Yeah. So because we're fishing in shallower water right now, that rockfish didn't need a descender. You can usually tell because their eyes are bulging or their air bladder comes out of their mouths. Uh, and then they, they're not able to swim back down. But because we're in, it looks like 90 feet of water. Oh, darn it. Shit. Yeah, but I got the camera on. Oh, got it out. Always my fear getting snagged with the underwater camera. At least we can see why it happened, I guess. And luckily, it popped out this time. All right, didn't really like what I was using too much. Seemed like uh, maybe the presentation wasn't great. These guys are getting bit really often. I wasn't so much, so 
I'm gonna try just a jig head. It's a four ounce jig head. I'm gonna put a squid on that, one of the live ones. Uh, I saw a video from Southern California and that's what they were doing to catch, I forget what it was, but halibut, white sea bass, stuff like that. So we can give that a try. Check that out, Taku. <laughs> yeah, that looks so good. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> there we go. I'm glad I didn't back up. I'll back up after you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got enough line on here. Good run. Good run. Yeah. There it is. Is it a gaffer? Yeah, it looks like a 23 incher probably. Yeah, it's, yeah, a, it's a keeper. For sure. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, that's nice. 24 incher. Haven't caught a link on in a while. It's funny, it feels good, but yeah, I know. it doesn't mean do. so. I know, they feel really good. Yeah, like, it's like oh, not big. <laughs> oh, maybe it's not a ling, it's big red. Oh, Is that yellow that's eye? That's, that's a firm. Wow. wow. Dude, that's, that's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Big firm. Yeah. Almost feel bad oh. keeping it, but damn, huh? Dude. See the little fish in it? Oh, That's yeah. what's on that screen. Oh, yeah. Little tiny fish. Look, it's full of them in there. Oh, wow. Man. That is a nice firm, huh? That's a nice firm. That's the rig we're using now, right, right there. The three-way swivel, down to a six-ounce weight. Regular hook to a treble hook. I don't know exactly. His videos get like three million views and stuff. He travels like, like he's not American. Although he, he, oh, you mean. Uh, Keeper, I think. All right, got our link cod. All right, I think we got a 24 incher here. Maybe 23. And there's blood. All right, a little over 23 inches. Future for Link Cod looks good. Oh, yeah, 
just short. It is. Like we thought. <laughs> say, but uh, if you didn't bring him in, you oh jeez, <laughs> knock out. <laughs> you didn't bring him in, slam though. away. You, oh. You're having a hard time steering because your main motor. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Another little one. The blue ones are so cool looking, aren't they? If you didn't know, their meat is blue inside, and when you cook it, it turns white. Yeah. Maybe Taku? Yeah. All right, well, hopefully uh, Taku has a fish I can gaff here with this Promar gaff. Remember, if you guys visit their website, I got a discount code for you, so take advantage of that. I use their gaffs and their nets. They have a lot of good rockfish gear. Yeah, he's taking off. Nice. Really good. Biggest fish of the day. All right, 24 incher. <laughs> what you put? We just need to beat 24. Yeah. <laughs> 24 and a half. <laughs> oh, oh big red. Yeah. Oh my God. God, you want it? It's huge. Oh, Huge, bigger than mine. Dude, what? The oh. oh my god, dude, dude, it's huge. Yeah, that might be yeah. Oh, it is. No, I don't know. Let me take yeah, a picture. You can hold him. Ah, he's biting me. Oh, he looks so big. <laughs> Wow, see that thing is crazy. Look at that. <laughs> Alaska fish. Right, here, I'm opening back. Yeah. Get down, get down, get yep. down. Wow. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. <laughs> nice release. <laughs> I mean, that was, Dude, that was 25 inches. <laughs> I know, I wanted to let go my verm a little bit too, but it's my mom's favorite fish, so. Oh, yeah. All right, well, it was a fun day out here. Here's our catch. Well, I shouldn't say our catch, because we caught a lot more than this, but this is what we're taking home. Three link cod, big vermilion. A lot of fun on your boat today, Kevin. Absolutely. Taku, yeah. good day of fishing. Yeah. We got some squid we're gonna bring home as well. Got a whole bunch in there, but I would say we got 30 left or so. Fun, productive day out here. First trip on the ocean all year. A lot of fun being back out in the big blue. Going home with some squid, lean cod, and a vermilion. Hopefully we got some good underwater footage. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right, later guys.